Hi, my name is Todd Barber, and I'm a rocket propulsion engineer for NASA JPL. My job at JPL has basically been in mission operations for 30 years, flying spacecraft around the solar system and controlling the propulsion systems responsible for the health and safety, like a space plumber, basically. I became initially interested in science fr from a very early age. My dad made a, a lot of little experiments even before I uh, started school. And then I just remember following, uh, I had a mad crazy chemistry set through middle school, weather kits, electronic kits. But what really sealed the deal for planetary exploration was seeing the pictures of Jupiter and Saturn from the Voyager spacecraft and National Geographic magazine uh, when I was in eighth grade, age 13. And as soon as I saw that, I knew my destiny. My teachers had a huge role in getting me to NASA JPL, and I had some of the best math and science teachers on the planet. And this is in a public school in the middle of the United States in Wichita, Kansas. And I just got very lucky to have tremendous teachers, and I still talk to them decades later. I think the thing that excites me most about the next 10 years, JPL is always innovating, going to new destinations and doing missions basically that are impossible. And that's where we like to begin here. Uh, if it's never been done before, that's when we start and we find a ways to make it happen. And that's the beauty of STEM education. These basic tools you learn in your K through 12 education are largely what get us there and, and allow these amazing uh, missions in the future. I think teachers can have an enormous influence uh, to inspire kids to STEM, science, technology, engineering, and maths degrees and uh, careers. It certainly was true in my case. Uh, I found these passionate teachers that just awaken this natural desire. E every kid is born a scientist, and the good teachers make sure that that uh, kid inside of all of us never leaves. My advice to teachers is just to find out what your students are really interested in, Go down those rabbit holes with them. Follow them, to, even if you don't know. Look up the answer, learn with them, and explore the, the vast uh, beauty of the cosmos and the, the uh, allure and grandeur of STEM careers across the world. In the next five to 10 years, the opportunities for students that work hard in STEM, we can't even fathom those. There's new fields that haven't even invented yet. Um, the very things I learned in, before I even got to college, I l use those skills all the time. And I feel like even as technology comes along, innovations happen, as long as you have that basis with a STEM education, you can apply that and uh, basically come along this new wave in the 21st century. The jobs of the future are gonna require it. Come along the journey with us.